in places in north central Iowa it looks pretty good. Um, last week kind of put us over the top on rainfall so we are obviously losing a lot of nitrogen. Our corn is yellowing up pretty quickly in some places uh, not only because of lack of nitrogen but it's just been sitting in water so long right so lack of oxygen so those two things usually go hand in hand. Um, so I would say about a week or 10 days ago uh, we pretty well had a phenomenal looking crop and now with all that water um, things are going backwards pretty quickly in those corn and bean fields so hopefully we get some dry weather right we obviously lost crop in those potholes and stuff like that but hopefully we can dry it out and the rest of that crop can get some good oxygen in the roots and continue to grow in this nice heat that we're getting there is still time to apply nitrogen right uh, we would want to make sure we get that done before r1 if that's possible right um, so we're limited in application now we're going to either have to put it on with a high high clearance equipment whether we do that with drops or tubes or maybe even uh you know long coulters where we're knifing it in through one of those high clearance machines or we're probably going to have to fly on some urea or ESN. ESN. It's been relatively quiet in terms of insect pressure. Um, the Japanese beetles are out. I've had some phone calls from farmers who are seeing higher numbers of Japanese beetles in corn fields right now and in soybean fields. Um, at least from a corn perspective, right, we're gonna get defoliation of leaves. It takes a lot of defoliation, right, to impact a corn plant. But what we're really worried about with Japanese beetles and corn is when that corn starts to silk, that Japanese beetles can and will clip silks. They like those corn silks um, and that can uh, impact pollination. So we're worried about that. Um, I haven't seen a lot of Japanese beetle pressure in soybean fields, but I'm sure it's there in some places. It has rained every day. <laughs> I have not found, I've not been in a field. I was out in fields yesterday, finally catching up. I have not found any tar spot, but to be honest, I've been looking for other things. Um, I, I would not be surprised at all if we find tar spot at very low levels right now that, I mean, we already have it in Iowa, so it's probably out there.